What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, the Colts released their first unofficial depth chart for week one of the season. And again, guys, it's unofficial. So things are subject to change. And of course, that has to do with injuries and other things that happen. So just going to take everything with a grain of salt because that's what we want to do. Anyways, so we'll go ahead and just hop into it. Honestly, guys, I don't really think there's a lot of surprises in this. So honestly, if you were expecting some clickbait or some anything crazy, like that's not really happening. But go ahead and get into this, guys. Michael Pittman Jr., Ashton Doolin behind him. Bernard Ryman at left tackle. Blake Freeland as his backup. Quentin Nelson. And then there's Danny Pinter or Tanner Bordellini behind him. Ryan Kelly. And then behind him is Danny Pinter or Tanner Bordellini. So really, it all comes down to what if any of those guys go down, those two are the substitutes. Right guard, Will Fries, Dalton Tucker being the backup. And Braden Smith at right tackle with Matt Gonsalves as the backup right tackle. So again, no surprises there. Top two tight ends, Mo Ali Cox, Kylan Granson, Drew Ogletree, and Will Mallory at three and four. Other wide receivers, a wide receiver two is Josh Downs and Anthony Gould. And wide receiver three is Alec Pierce or Adonai Mitchell. So again, it, it, the Colts have said they're, they're looking to try to mix things up. It, it depends on the package that they're running. So we can see a lot of both of them on Sunday. And of course, quarterback Anthony Richardson, Joe Flacco, Sam Ellinger. Running back is Jonathan Taylor, Trey Sermon, and Tyler Goodson. Interesting to see if Trey Sermon practices this week. And of course, also we have to wonder what's going to happen with Josh Downs. Again, Steichen said he was progressing well, but they were not putting a timetable on it. So, Defense, Quiddy Pay, and then Liatu Latu, which is definitely interesting. I don't know how much Liatu Latu, I don't know how much time Liatu Latu is going to get out there because the other defensive ends are Taekwon Lewis on the other side with Dio Adangbo and Isaiah Land. So I'm not sure like what that exactly means for Liatu Latu. Is he going to start? Is he going to... I, it doesn't sound like he's going to start, but I got to imagine he's going to be in a lot of packages. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. DeForest Buckner at defensive tackle with Adetamiwa. Nose tackle is Grover Stewart with Taven Bryan and Raekwon Davis. Surprised to see Raekwon Davis behind Taven Bryan in that regard. We'll go ahead and go into here. Weak side linebacker is EJ Speed. Uh, middle linebacker, Zaire Franklin with Sagoon Alubi behind him. And then at the Sam is Jalen Carlisle and then Grant Stewart. Cornerbacks, Juju Brents followed by Dallas Flowers. And then on the other side is Jalen Jones and Samuel Womack. So not surprised there uh, that Jalen Jones and Juju Brents are going to get the nods here. At Nichols, well, we have Kenny Moore, of course. And then, of course, when you look at the safety group, Julian Blackman there at strong safety. Free safety, it's Nick Cross, Ronnie Thomas, and Trevor Dembo. And during Tuesday's media availability, defense coordinator Gus Bradley said Nick Cross will start alongside Julian Blackman against the Texans. It will be interesting, though, because I've heard them say there could be some mix and match with how they want to put Nick Cross in there. So definitely something to keep an eye out for. Interested to see where Julian Blackman and Nick Cross combine. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hunter, Rigoberto Sanchez. Kicker is Matt Gay. Rigoberto Sanchez is the holder. And then Luke Rhodes is a long snapper. Kick returner is Anthony Gould or Dallas Flowers. Punt return, Anthony Gould. Josh Downs and then Dallas Flowers. So that's really it, guys, for the depth chart. Not a whole lot more to it than that. But let me know you guys' thoughts on it. Again, it's unofficial. A lot of things are going to change. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much. And as always, the Colts. Yeah.